Hey guys, Liver here. Today I'm doing a little update video on my pickups again. On my 94, nothing really changed to it. I did wash it the other day. It looks pretty good. I did add some lights to the tailgate and my Jag sticker it fell off. I still gotta relocate my antennas. But I did add some lights to the tailgate. It looked pretty cool. I just ran the wires down through the bottom of the tailgate into some split loom and then see there it goes use this blue buck connector hooked it up to where the license plate lights are since I don't have the harness installed and just grounded it to the bolt to this bolt I think the rest of the tail lights I'll turn it on for you hey jigs Yeah, they're LED. They look pretty good, I think. Just found out they look pretty cool, so I got them. I had to fish them through the tailgate. That was fun, needless to say. Other than that, my 94, I I guess I don't have my light bar anymore. That's okay. Still got the switch. But yeah, nothing really new for that. On old olive here, I got. I got this new grill guard made for it. Well, modified for it. Grill guard came off a 94 Dodge. And I just had to notch these ends. Notch the ends, bend them out, weld it back in. Put some mounts coming from the frame. It's on there pretty good. It's It's on there. So, I think that looks pretty good. It's a little low, but that's okay, I guess. It's for short deer. <laughs> other than that, on this, other than the grill guard, which I really like, that turned out pretty good. I painted it white because it matches the toolbox and the bump, rear bumper and the GMC on the tailgate. And oh! Also got some mud flaps put on for it. I thought those were pretty cool. I just show you how I mounted those real quick. I just got a piece of uh, channel iron or angle iron, sorry, and bolted it right there. And same thing on the other side. You can see I didn't get the hole exactly right on that side. This channel iron is actually a bed frame. But it works pretty good for mud flaps too. Yeah. Those are my mud flaps. I thought they looked pretty cool. Does it really need mud flaps? No, but I thought they looked cool. Those also came off a 94 Dodge. <laughs> yeah, see. Also got this light. That was on the grill guard. Actually more of it shattered out. Oh well. Now here's the lens. I was only broke a little bit, but now it's broke a lot. Still works though, I bet. Let's see if I can hook it to the battery and I'll show you that it still works. This was on the grill guard. Like, like that. I had one of them. It's supposed to have two, but one was broke off. And I actually tried welding it. it. They didn't do a very good job. I literally just took a chisel in between this and, and that and just... Yeah, it does work. Stupid hood. There we go. I know the cam uh, quality of the cameras. Pretty legit. Let's see if I can't do this one handed. It's gonna be a chore. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one handed. Okay, now I just need someone to hold the ground. Why don't you just get the ground for me? That'd be great. Okay, I can't do it by hand. With one hand. But it does work, trust me. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. So, got this cow skull that was on the grill guard. And my weather stripping on that door fell off again. Yay! I also took out the radio and stuff. 
and the speaker. I plan on getting a new one for it, like the ones that actually fit in the space and my glove box bottom blew out so I don't have a glove box but I do have this nice blue tote. Yeah. Oh and I broke my choke cable but that thing was a piece of shit. So no choke for me. And yeah, there you can see my weather stripping gone. Also did notice the other day why well, like I knew those holes were this was starting. Which is kind of a bummer. But if you look where's yeah, there's there's it starting. And on this side you can kind of see it's just starting to rust above the windshield. Which is a pretty common place for these pickups to rust, but still kinda of sad. Don't really know how to prevent that. I knew that was there. Which is sad, but I suppose when it gets rusted out, I'll just have to find another cab or another pickup. But that's okay. It's gonna be a while before that gets rusted out, hopefully. But yeah, you can you can see it. It's starting like right there. You can kind of see it in the middle of the screen. It's paint starting to but that's pretty commonplace, like I said. Oh well. Yeah, that's really all about it on it. I did put a new dimmer switch in it a long time ago, I guess. Yeah, nothing really new on this guy. Besides the grill guard and I took the radio out. But I did that. What did I do that? Oh yeah, I had the dash pad out. But I put it back in so none of the front screws are in. Because, like I said, the bottom of the glove box fell out. So I decided to take out the little 3 8 nuts that hold the front of the dash pad in. I just took out the nuts on this side and I figured, well, I'm already there. So I took out the gauge cluster, took them out, took the radio out, got that one out. And I said, I'll just leave the radio out. But yeah, so, so when I when I do get a new dash pad ordered someday, that'll be pretty easy to remove. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing really new in this besides the good garden. I think that turned out pretty good. It's, I mean, it's made of half inch, and this is half inch, so. I'm not sure what this is in little square tubing. So yeah, I think I think that turned out pretty good. I mean, it ain't perfect. It's a little lower than I'd like, but like I said, it's for short deer, right? <laughs> and I know it. I know it's like in the smack dab middle. We're pretty close to the middle of the high beam. I tested it last night, and it actually doesn't really even affect it that much. You can see in the front that it makes a little triangle from this. But it, like, when you're looking out, you honestly don't even notice. You can see on that tree is where I painted it. But yeah, they, it doesn't really even affect it that much, which is good. I still want to add like a light to it or something, like some little spotlights or something. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.